We are happy to present our prospective trial looking on the malnutrition, malnutrition status in ovarian cancer patient prior to radical surgery of five, six, seven hours with metastasis in the diaphragm or wherever uh, you know is ovarian cancer um, attaching the body. And what we looked that the bioimpedance analysis looking on the muscle distribution, the distribution to the uh, fat uh, amount in the body is an independent prognostic factor for complication after surgery and even an overall survival. So what we think, and we know this, is that we have fragility items they are not basing on age alone, it's even the malnutrition because especially in ovarian cancer the patient has bowel symptoms. In general they have a long interval to the until to diagnose of three, six months and they lost very frequent body, uh, body weight. And the consequence for us is to think to consolidate the patient, to train the patient before you go to surgery, but I think we can translate it even to chemotherapy, that we try to compensate the body loss, giving supportive parenteral or oral nutrition, to increase not only the albumin, but even um, the metabolic, uh, metabolic system of the patient, to be more able to compensate complications, and you know with ascites, it's a, a sum, it's, it's cancer uh, triggered, but even from, uh, the, from the protein level dependent. And so what we believe that you use the time up until the start of surgery to, to make a um, um, training program and even to give a nutrition specific program for the patients to decrease not only bowel obstruction, it's the same as for pneumonia, for uh, bladder urinary infections. And I think that in future we should much more focus, despite all um, visions regarding personalized medicine uh, based on the molecular biological uh, items, on the health status of the patients, on frailty scores. And I think that's maybe our input for, of this ESCO.